clearly uh, one can conclude that they were not keen on taking our concerns seriously and any objections we were raising at that time. Earlier on, they had said that they had not cleared verifying the Forms 34A and the Forms 34B, that the process was still ongoing. So in what you're saying, if they're planning to make the announcement in the next few minutes, have they told you if they're finished completing that whole process? They say they have not finished, and whatever is left to them is now not significant to the outcome. That means they have concluded what they want to do. Are you going to contest in court? Yeah. To court? Yeah. 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 Let, let me also say this. There, there's a great lawyer song we have been celebrating over this political season. Vindu Vichen Janga. It was a song of hope. Uh, it's a song of, by a patriot hoping that Kenya was on the road uh, uh, for change and reform. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the, the, the words of that song have been rendered useless by this decision that has been made today. I think this has been an entire charade. This is a disaster. You do not just hold an election for the sake of it. And the election is not about announcing winners and losers. Elections is a process, is about participation, is about exercise of political rights, is about the right of the minority and of the individual being elevated to equal the right of even of the majority. Our constitution is not a majoritarian constitution. It's a constitution that emphasizes on individual rights, that the, the right of every Kenyan counts. The commission, by its decision today, had shown that it is more executive than the executive, that all the blood and sweat of Kenyans to create an independent electoral and boundaries commission has gone to naught. That struggle took so many people to jail, to detention. Some were killed in order to have this constitution. And those upon which the duty rests to make that promise and struggle a reality have betrayed it. And this commission has shown that it's an arm of the executive by the decision it has made today. And the reason why I'm saying it is an arm of the executive, it looks like the president, the deputy president, and the entire government machinery, they knew all along what the commission was going to do. Indeed, when the deputy president left here and went to the Kenyatta International Conference Center, the stage had been set, and uh, I think the judgment now is out there in the court of public opinion. We've been made to understand that. I am still speaking, sir. And I can tell you, Kenyans always rise up. The resilience of Kenyans to deal with impunity, to deal with the violation of their rights. Every time those rights have been trampled upon, they've always risen up. And like those who uh, profit on people's blood and sweat. We know that the current government and the people who constitute this government ha have nothing to show about bringing this new constitutional order and yet they are prepared to violate it without thinking about the consequences. And therefore, this is a matter in which we cannot say Kenya is greater than any one of us. Because Kenya is greater if we can take care of every one of us. I believe in the Bible when they say, uh, leave the flock to look for one lost sheep. Or to care, uh, take care of my, my, my neighbor and my brother. Uh, and therefore, I would urge the Kenyan people to judge the decision of this commission in the context of the constitution that belongs to the people and not to any individual. And the charade that it was 
is exemplary is exemplified by the fact that when we came here we were given audience we put our case we wrote a letter so that it is on writing and everything that we said in totality showed that there were serious issues to be considered by this commission and they have elected not to uh, the other thing that I, I, I must say, that in elections it's always good to vet the observers, the missions themselves. And I'm calling upon the African Union, the European Union, and even the Commonwealth, that whenever they send observers here, that they should, they should vet them to determine whether they have a relationship with the leadership or governments uh, to which they have been sent. Uh, uh, for purposes of the elections, uh, because you can see an orchestration by the observers, uh, which uh, largely serve the interests of, of the government, and uh, the leader of the Commonwealth delegation, uh, former president of Ghana, uh, he should have been vetted uh, because he's got a, a relationship. He is uh, not happy that our candidate has a relationship with the current president of Ghana. Um, uh, president Thabo Mbeki is a great patriot, I admit, of South Africa. But I think he should have been vetted. The AU should have determined whether it was the, it was the right person to, to come here. Uh, and, and the same goes to John Kerry. I mean, these characters, when we hear their names, they look like they're from heaven. Uh, but they also have a, a, a history which needs to look at. So one of the greatest disappointments that we had are with this delegation. They, were, they rushed to judgment and gave this government and this commission the um, authority, so to speak, or the encouragement, so to speak, uh, to go on with making this announcement and telling us you can do what you want if you will, uh, with the uh, suggestion that we should go to, to court. And going to court for us is not an alternative. We have been there before. It's not an alternative. Uh, but we think within the framework of the Kenyan Constitution and with the jury out there with the sovereign, who are the Kenyan people, who have never really disappointed Every time a Kenyan has been killed, assassinated, the Kenyan people have stood uh, for the truth. Every time an election has been stolen, the Kenyan people have stood up uh, to make sure that changes are made to make Kenya a better place. So I may have a great hope with the Kenyan people. And no force on earth can go against the might of the people united for a cause. Uh, and therefore, nobody should think that this is the end of the matter. And nobody should make us feel guilty that we have got all, all, um, constitutional alternatives in interrogating the decision that has been made by this commission and taking legitimate constitutional action to remedy what has happened today. But it's a great tragedy. What's, what's your next move if the, the court is not an option in this case? I think we've said enough. Uh, we, we want to exit so that our team uh, can also demobilize from... Uh, Did they address the issue of the polling stations? The no, no. The, the 11, they have not addressed any of those things. They are saying we will get their response after. So clearly, uh, they had no intention of communicating. So, ladies and gentlemen, we shall not say anything else. Uh, we dissolve our gathering here. And we move on. And for the record, we have walked out in yes. protest. We are, we are, so we are not going to be party to the operations there. From there. Not from here. <laughs>